Welcome back. Time right now, 745. Right now, any parent or grandparent who has a child involved in any kind of sports mm -hmm needs to be paying attention. All right, with us this morning, we have Amy Woolery and uh, Jenny Aguilar with uh, Valor uh, talking about this concussion testing program. So much of this has been in the media lately. And just talk a little bit about what your technology does to protect students who are playing sports. Okay, great. Absolutely. Well, as you know, concussion is a very hot topic right now, and it continues to be a growing concern. 50% of adolescent athletes will sustain a concussion by the time they graduate from high school. Wow, 50%. And 41% will return to play too soon. Okay. So Valor Health has physical therapists and athletic trainers in our community schools, and we recognized a need for a better way to determine when an athlete was ready to return to play. We're using Biodex, te Biodex technology to capture an athlete's normal baseline balance test. Then after an athlete has sustained an injury, we can bring them back, retest them, and then have objective measurements okay. to show clinicians and physicians helping them get a better idea of whether or not they're ready to return to play. So you guys have some pictures too of some of this going on sure. at Mustang yeah. schools. Um, did you just go out to the school and, and sort of offer this? I mean, how does that really work? Does the school call you and say we would like this for our athletes? Well, it's really, it started with the just the relationship from our, our physical therapy mm. clinics. We have 15 across the state. Okay. And um, we have athletic trainers that work closely with our physical therapists. So it just started out as a relationship and the need was, was sure. right. you know, brought to the forefront. So um, we just wanted to, you know, value the commitment to the communities that we serve and develop this program and bring it out to the communities. Uh, well, real quick, uh, you know, I know we saw those look to be uh, high school age students mm -hmm. in right. Mustang. How young can you guys do the testing? Well, we are we're capturing middle age okay. students' um, scores at this point. Okay. The nice thing about it is we're taking what's their normal scores and comparing it then again to what was their normal. So okay. Interesting. Right. It, and, and I guess my other question would be, what if one of these children or maybe a high school athlete has had some head injuries in the past? Are you still able to use what you first find and then compare it to what happens after a, a second or a third injury and, and see that even though maybe they had a damaged situation in the first place, you're getting worse or, or something maybe getting better? getting better? Yes, absolutely. You can take those results and compare them as far back as wow. you've tested. Now, statistics say, say that the average span of time that people get the most amount of concussions is 14 to 24. Oh, wow. So it starts really young yeah. and actually can continue through college life. Well, we're just about out of time, but I do have to ask real quick because you all were excited to have you be part of yes. the Health and Wellness Expo taking place. So for anybody who's watching this morning that's going to be coming out there, what do they need to be thinking about before they come and meet with you guys? Well, we're thrilled to be part of the Expo. This is the third year that Valor uh, is participating in the Health and Wellness Expo. Amy and her team will be there. They will be providing a free concussion test, okay. baseline test, also balance test, which is really particularly important for the aging population. Definitely. Oh, okay. okay. So you guys are going to be there tomorrow. We we'll will. be there as well. The Health Expo happening at the Cox mm -hmm. Pavilion State Fair Park from 10 until 4. Come out, say hello. If you have kiddos, bring them out, get them tested, especially if they're going to participate in any uh, spring sports. Maybe even if you guys are hitting the uh, lakes this summer, because you got to think about wakeboarding, sure. that kind of stuff too.